Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you have been uh, experiencing a wonderful day thus far. And so we will be taking a look at the latest across the Atlantic uh, with Invest 94L, which is getting better organized. It has a chance to become a subtropical cyclone maybe by tomorrow. And there is also some rainfall across some sections of the Caribbean. And uh, there is Hurricane Calvin now over in the Eastern Pacific. And so before I go into details with these systems please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, so let us go ahead and get straight into what is happening. So there we can see Invest 94L. And so uh, it is starting to look like a subtropical cyclone. However, it has not achieved a defined low level center of circulation. And that is an essential characteristic that it should possess. So as of the latest update, the chance hasn't increased uh, since this morning. So it stands at 60% and we could see something uh, become of it, we could see it acquiring a name and uh, achieving tr uh, subtropical cyclone status as we're going to be heading into tomorrow. So let's wait and see, but it certainly has that asymmetrical feature, which is common among them. But let's go ahead and look at other areas right now. Uh, for Jamaica, we're going to be going down to Jamaica very shortly, but as we look at the surface charts here, we can see that there are two tropical waves out there in the main development region, and another should emerge very soon. Uh, this one that is closer to the Lesser Antilles should approach as we uh, head into this weekend there is another with its axis extended from hispaniola down into colombia and is inducing some rainfall activity across some areas and so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the region there we see that cluster of all those showers and thunderstorms and that is what is in association with the wave in the region we also see some activity over in some parts of central america especially going down to some spots in nicaragua costa rica uh, even for panama as well but most areas are pretty dry and there was that saharan earlier that saharan dust that has entered the Caribbean uh, for Puerto Rico uh, for the northwestern part there is some thunderstorm activity in the area but for most of the island it is pretty much sunny right now uh, maybe with some hazy conditions and then for most of the lesser Antilles similar story going to Trinidad maybe some overcast weather for some spots possibly with some showers going to Barbados uh, something similar the ABC Islands sort of in the clear right now now as we take a look into the vicinity of the Bahamas for the northwestern Bahamas and also going to parts of Florida, there is some thunderstorm activity. Also some substantial cloud cover across uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. For Cuba, the Cayman Islands, uh, not a whole lot happening. We see more activity over in eastern Cuba than the rest of the island. But look at Jamaica. There is quite a bit of activity noted in the region. And some parishes have been experiencing or have experienced some rainfall and thunderstorms uh, since the start of today. So let's zoom into the island here and we can see that there is that area of deep convection that has developed over in the western part of the island and there's a lot more moisture in the area so uh, that rainfall activity is going to be remaining probable uh, even as we're going to be heading into tomorrow so it's likely that more areas will experience some rainfall uh, but nothing too crazy is anticipated but you can let me know what's happening in your area and then uh, now we want to go ahead and take a look at what is happening for northern South America and we can see here that across many areas there's lots of showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon parts of uh, Colombia, Venezuela, going to Guyana. Not a whole lot at the moment for French Guiana and Suriname. And so now we want to go ahead and take a look at the latest in terms of the Saharan uh, air layer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map here and we're seeing that there is that plume of dust which is extended across the Atlantic and this is really what's been helping to suppress development right now and as I said in previous updates this is not something that is uncommon for the month of July. So it is helping to uh, prevent these tropical waves from getting themselves together. And we can see that there is some substantial amount across the Eastern Caribbean. So going across majority of the uh, Lesser Antilles, going to Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, ABC Islands. You guys might notice some hazy skies in association with all of that dry air and dust. And uh, some of that is also noted in the Northwestern Caribbean. So uh, let's see what's going to be happening. But as of right now, there is nothing new marked for potential 
personal development aside from 94L. And we want to go ahead and hop over into the Eastern Pacific. There is Calvin, which is the third hurricane and third tropical cyclone over in the Eastern Pacific. So uh, in the Eastern Pacific, there is a different list and uh, all three name systems that have developed, they have all managed to intensify into hurricanes and Calvin is the third. So uh, we're seeing that it is looking well defined right now and it should continue to intensify uh, over the next couple of days. However, it will be approaching cooler waters and that should induce some weakening. But uh, if it manages to sustain itself as we're going to be heading into maybe the midweek next week, it could bring impacts to Hawaii. So uh, let's see what's going to be happening. But if you're in Hawaii, then it is a good time to be on watch for any potential impacts and note that this change, uh, this cone here can change uh, because it is a cone of uncertainty, meaning that uh, the center can pass anywhere within this zone and not necessarily along the path that is currently being projected. So let's wait and see. But as of now, it's a cat one. So let's see what's going to be happening with it as time goes by. And so that is pretty much it for this update, guys. That is what I wanted to share with you. And so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.